So has your uh, Toyota Camry center console ever done something like this? Probably not, but I mean, if it is in pretty bad shape, here's how to replace it. I mean, my gosh, look at that. So they gave this thing the bionic elbow or something, my gosh. Anyway, I couldn't get a perfect color match, but uh, well, actually, that looks pretty darn close. That's from a salvage yard. But anyway, this is how to replace it. All right, coming to the back seat where all the magic happens. You know, as the kids say these days. Just playing. I, I haven't been a kid for so long, I don't even know what the kids say these days. Anyway, so we're going to have to pop off this little plastic cover right here. This is where uh, it actually mounts to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pop this off. Open up the uh, cover. This little cover right here. Okay. That'll make it a little easier to gain access to. I guess probably not. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's open or closed. So you're going to need a trim tool like this. And you're just going to kind of pry in between there. Be careful. You don't have to mount up that plastic like I just did. <laughs> uh, it does help if you have like a plastic trim tool. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this with both hands. It's a little hard with one. But just kind of get in there and pry. You can use a flat blade screwdriver too. But uh, these tend to work a little bit. All right, as you can see, there's just two, or I'm sorry, four little uh, pry places right here that are holding that on. And it just pops right off there. Super simple. You know, Toyota likes to make it easy. I love Toyota. I love working on Toyotas. I just love Toyotas. They're freaking awesome. As you can see here, there are four Phillips head screws that you just kind of have to turn out of here. And this little sucker comes right off. Be careful, because once you get these uh, unbolted, this thing is going to try to fly back at you. So don't uh, bust your lip with that. So, correction, it's actually this guy that's going to, you know, come at you. So, be careful because that, uh, that'll catch your fingers, your knuckles real quick. Go ahead and put your new one on there. Um, I found that if you actually close it on there, it's not going to line up. So, keep it open. Don't let it close on the center console just yet. And at least line up two of the little holes right here. Get those started and then it shouldn't fly back at you. All right, once you got it started, go ahead and tighten up all four of those little screws. Not too tight, of course, but, you know, the German specs, good and tight. Uh, try to uh, go from one end to the next. You don't want to do both sides or one side and then go over the other. You want to kind of do like a cross pattern like this. That just helps us so it doesn't warp. And just like that, you're good to go. Now you want to kind of line up this little plastic piece here. Just kind of make sure it's all in every corner. And just kind of push that sucker on there. Good to go. Not a perfect color match, but pretty darn close. Sure looks better than that. Like, what the heck, man?